staying faithful with us here tonight. If you like what you see here, we do this every Thursday night at Grace Hill, 7 to 9 p.m. And we also do a long-form every first third and fifth Wednesday, 7 to 9 p.m. at Grace Hill. That being said, it's really cold, but we just need one word from you. Monkey. Monkey! Ladies and gentlemen, for the first and last time, monkey. Um, so monkeys remind me of the movie The Jungle Book, and so when I was really young, around like four, I think I lived in Hong Kong at the time, I always wanted to be Shere Khan, the tiger. I was so obsessed. And so at the end of that movie, he runs, he has a, a fire attached to his tail, and so I was a kid, I ran around with a chair behind my back, because I was a dumb kid, from this running with this chair, pretending I'm the tiger, and then I fall, and I, my two, I think my two front teeth fell out. Um, so, when you're a kid, you don't really know how, like, Space works in relationship to your body. I remember when I was a young little baby child, um, I was just home one day and there was like this wooden chair in my room with like these slats on the back. I can tell you for a fact that as a preschool teacher, I deal with a lot of small children and at times they are wonderful, but at times they are driving me absolutely crazy. I have a lot of horror stories, like one of the best horror stories is Marker Boy. A little boy in the bathroom. And all of a sudden, I knock the door, it's been there a while, I said, are you okay? He goes, do not come in here. <laughs> of course, as a teacher, I have to go in, and there he is, hands down, marker in hand, and there's two dads with different color than his body. Oh, when I was a small child, I lived in Italy for, for a few years. Parents, my dad was in the military, so after my third birthday, I got this like, new pair of shoes. And first time my mom had left the house, my brother was like one just two weeks before my birthday. So they're gone at this um, softball game, and I go outside, and good news, those shoes were really good. Bad news, they were really good, and the bike like hit my leg, it didn't give at all, so my leg just like both of the bones just kind of break in there. Oh my yeah, so, so the legs are brought me to the baseball field, and now you have a bunch of firefighters just shouting orders. So, the only bone I ever broke was my pinky finger, and I did that in a very stupid way. So, I am a very small human being, but I, at the time when I was small, did not really believe that I was a small human being, and so I believed that I could take on the entire world. And so, I took, looked up at my friend who was six feet tall, and I said, I could take you on in a chicken fight. So, we both got on the couch. Tried to balance our way, we started chicken fighting on the couch. Of course, then all of a sudden I get flipped over and I break my pinky. And I am been so embarrassed that for two weeks I didn't tell anybody. And so finally my pinky was so purple and swollen and I had to be like, hey mom, this is what happened. And I was like, what the fuck? So I've never actually, I've been thankful enough to never actually have broken a bone. I just like sprained it like really, really bad. I remember um, in like middle school, high school era, like my mom used to like sign me up for all these programs and things and like she didn't tell me like what they were until the day I was like, get up and go to this thing. And I was like protesting and I was like, hey Jerry. Uh, Susie. Sweetheart, nice lives. You know how you always want to do horseback riding? Uh, I love horses. Well, I signed you up for chess camp instead. <laughs> but, I wanna, I wanna ride the horse! Look at this! It's called the night, it's got a little horse on it! It's not a horse! I want you to be stupid! I spent good money to get you in a chest! Club, seriously! Bobby, Jake, this horse is great! Thank you so much! Oh, it's okay, we're riding a little pony. Oh, thank you! 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 Oh, Oh, thanks. Like, what if we're rich enough to afford genetically modified horses? Yeah, I mean, if that's the type you want, if you want to be greedy with purple dots, I will make it happen for you. Wait a minute, I have my choice of color before again? Oh my god! We also pumped them out right away! Exactly, I mean, hey. What are rich people good for? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna call you daddy back in the store! <laughs> Um, this is Peterson. Uh, we have some interesting news about, about your child. Danny, um, what's happening with Danny? Well, uh, Danny, it appears that Danny had an incident in the bathroom today. Um, with a marker again. He got into the markers again? Yes. And he's now gone further um, from his normal region. He's now colored his entire body. Oh, God. Danny, I should have started the 
those tattoos, those those black eye tattoos. It was horrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, sweetie. We'll get you when you're old enough. We'll get you a tattoo of friendship, okay? And then you can do this all you want, but just. We have to look nice for the Christmas picture next week, okay? Orange is my favorite color. Yes, sweetie, that's very really nice. It's very nice. That's why we painted your entire room orange. That's why we bought an orange car specifically at your request. Because we'll have nothing but orange, right? Nothing but carrots and squash and... Can I have some orange juice? Absolutely, you know. That's our favorite. You know, maybe if you didn't give him anything, he wouldn't be. Hang on. You 
who are going to be the greatest Shere Khan that there is. We have this orange tiger costume. So all you have to do is just get over your fear of tigers. And I know you can do it. But they have stripes, and I don't like stripes. You know this. I do, but you're going to be the greatest villain in all of Disney history. Okay, I'm going to put it in my head to bad guys. I mean, it's, it's just the way it is. It's, it's how the world works, you know? Predators are bad guys, and, and you know, that's just how it is. Hi. Oh, director. Hi. Hi, I'm just going to, we're, we're, we're going to get the suit on. It's going to be fine. Colin's going to be fine. You said that she would be a tiger now. I need, I need the tiger. It's coming, Colin. It's coming, okay? We're going to get our Is she still, is she still afraid of tigers? No! Okay, this is super no. awkward. Because yes. I brought them, I brought my buddy Tony in, right? Oh, Tony? Tony. Need to know. 
Something going wrong in Disneyland again? We got frozen, Walton. Oh, my God! It finally happened. And he's not exactly thrilled with how things are going. Yeah, but the executive has warned us of this. He's, well, he's happy that we, he's not happy that, um, he believed that by 2018 he would have all of television, and he does not. Yeah, but I gave him 40% of the theater market. What more does that man want? What is going on here with my creation? Why am I seeing those people around my heart? Oh, the Avengers. The Avengers. We and we also now have Star Wars, because everyone loves aliens in outer space. It, it's a lot better than it, it's a lot better than what it's out for me. Believe what? Why are we expanding beyond the grab? We're animation only. My mouse was supposed to lead us into the future. And he has in so many ways. Oh, he's... A lot of things have changed. Well, I used to live in Disneyland. Mr. Waltz, are these, uh, are these two Rams Gallons down in Disneyland? No, we're not down in Disneyland. We're not down in Disneyland. We have the CG models. Do you like them? Let's do it! Remember that. <laughs> uh, one more time, please. <laughs> 